YouTube, what is going on? We're back with a second video. Um, man, something something really good is going on with me today, because or not today, but this week or this this this. I don't know. I want to try and keep the same consistency. I want to try and keep it like that. Try and get a video, out, hopefully once a week. But don't don't hold me to that just yet. But anyways, today's video is going to be purely informational. Um, I noticed you guys really enjoyed the uh, dorm tour video I made over at Goodfellow, so. Today's video is going to be the exact same as you can tell by the title, except this is not tech school and this is not Goodfellow Air Force Base. Here we are in Operational Air Force and this is F.E. Warren Air Force Base over here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, the windy, 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 windy region. I'm going to step outside and I'm going to show you guys the exterior of the building that I live in or the dorm that I live in. Um, I'm not really going to talk much out there just because it's windy and then once I make uh, my way inside, then... I'll go ahead and run you guys through um, the rest of the dorm. You'll be assigned to a dormitory if you are um, single and have no dependents. At least to my knowledge, there's about three different layouts with the dorm styles here for the airmen coming in on base. And I don't know if there's any more, but the one I live in, I live in the quad, so I share a common area and a kitchen with three other roommates. Then we have the cop dorms, as some people like to call it. So for security force personnel, you will typically, most likely, be in uh, the layout that consists of just you and another roommate, and you guys just share a smaller kitchen um, and a bathroom. The last layout, that I know about, it consists of uh, just one, yeah, so, so just one person assigned to that dorm. They have their own room, bathroom, and kitchen. And it's a, it's a nice, spacious dorm. It is pretty big and nice. Let's take you guys outside and I'll see you guys on the interior of my building. Let's go. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the exterior portion of that video. Um, you guys got to see what the dorms look like on the outside. Um, now we are in my common area. I'm sitting in the living room right now. So I'm going to start you guys over at the entrance from where I'd walk in and give you guys an overview of that, of the inside portion. So we'll walk through the kitchen, the little living room we have, basically the common area. And then I'll take you guys into my room so you guys can see the layout and how the rooms are set up, how I have my room set up. And then that's that. Let's get to it. Alright you guys, so this is the door we just walked in to and as soon as you walk in you are automatically greeted with this little laundry area. So we have our washer and dryer right here. Cabinets, we can fill them up with anything we need. Um, for us, you know, we just keep laundry related things, um, nothing too fancy. So here's one room right here which happens to be my room, we'll get to that in just a second. Here's a second room and then right here immediately to the right as soon as you enter is a little storage closet. So I'll quickly show you guys the inside of that. So again, nothing serious, just random storage stuff. We keep vacuums, storage things, uh, suitcases and whatnot. So back to over here, um, like I said, these cabinets are very spacious. We have many drawers, um, you know, we just, just keep random stuff. We obviously don't have much of anything in these drawers. Um, here's my favorite thing I wanna show you guys right here. So this very top drawer, extend it all the way out. 
and boom, you've got your little ironing board right there built into the drawer. That's probably one of the neatest things I've seen. Um, so that's that, and then there's more storage space, obviously. Again, we just keep miscellaneous things. Um, so let's move on down this way. So this is one of my roommates. Uh, that's his dorm right there. Here is the kitchen area. Uh, honestly, these cabinets and the countertops look fantastic. Um, we probably don't do the best job of keeping them the cleanest, but anyways, just an FYI, it is two cops and two firefighters that live here, so not too much decoration. I mean, we still have a Christmas tree. Maybe that's maybe that's nice. Um, so here's our freezer stacked with uh, random foods. I don't know why I show you guys this. I feel like it's MTV Cribs. You know, everybody has to show the fridge. It's kind of one of the it's kind of one of the important key features you must show in any video like this. Anyways, fridge, random food, and all that stuff. More cabinet space, tons of cabinet space. Our dishwasher, where we keep our dishes, some of them. Um, again, plenty of countertop space. Usually we'd have it break down, broken down where like somebody will grab this corner of the counter, somebody will grab this corner, um, and then other people grab the cabinets. Like it doesn't have to be like that. That's just something that we used to do. Moving on over here, this is where we typically should eat. Um, honestly, I probably am the only one that has eaten here. I don't see any of my roommates really eat here, but here is the little living room that we all share. So here's room number three and then here's room number four. Here we have these nice little lounge chairs. Um, honestly, again, I don't really see much people sitting here, uh, at least with my room and my roommates, but some other rooms, you know, that could be a different story. We have a little flat screen TV here and then a little bookshelf. Um, when I first got here, this TV was very helpful because I connected my Xbox here and that's what I played my games on until I had a TV. And then we have a window out here, um, nothing much to show out there. So again, this is the kitchen and living room that we share. Um, it is very spacious. I feel like I live comfortably here with three other roommates. Nobody really gets in anybody else's way. And even then, the majority of the time, at least two of my roommates are at work when I'm home. So right now I'm currently home and I have nobody home with me. So that is that. So let's walk into my room. Uh, nothing too fancy. So. People are probably gonna make fun of me because I know my family does. Um, I have no decorations on my wall. Excuse me for that. I'm just very simple. Uh, I do plan on getting some stuff on my walls eventually, but for now, I don't have anything. So everything that is standard issue or everything you see in this room is standard issue. So obviously this bed, uh, this little nightstand, this desk, and then this little dresser right here. All these come with the room. This is the furniture that is already in the dorm. If you would like to purchase more, you obviously can, um, but you know, it's not, the biggest room but it's not the smallest either but i mean i'm fine with the furniture that is here so um here on this desk i just keep random stuff uh have uh plenty of drawer space to keep some clothes miami all day baby represent hurricanes um here's my tv laptop so i usually get some work done here edit my videos um over here got my xbox over there in the corner um the bed now Honestly, this is probably the only downside for me. It's a twin size bed. You know, obviously if you're coming from home, you're probably not used to sleeping on a twin size bed. You're probably used to a bigger bed, but it is what it is. Um, you know, the, the mattress is fine. I, I enjoy it. Uh, that is my boy Zeus right there. <laughs> Say what's up, Zeus. Awesome. Um, if my dad's watching this, he'll know. I always keep my blinds closed. I like to keep the room very low light. Very. I like to keep my room pretty dim. Um, if my dad's watching this, you know, he already knows. Curtains always closed. I usually just keep a small little lamp on, um, turned on, just because I'm not the, you know, I just, I just prefer my room pretty dim. Um, nightstand, you have two drawers in there. Uh, these are just my bags I keep for work. I take this to work and then my backpack with all my work stuff. Here is the closet. My closet probably doesn't look the best. I apologize for that, but, you know, I just keep my clothes, shoes, and all that other stuff. Um, and then there's like these shelves, which I really like. I keep some of my shoes on the shelves as well. So nothing, you know, crazy going on in my closet. My closet's not the cleanest. Again, I apologize. But... It is enough, you get everything in there if you need to, just fine. Um, the bathroom, this is honestly a blessing to have my own bathroom because, you know, over at tech school we had to share a bathroom and I, I just don't like sharing bathroom, that's just me. So, bathroom, nothing fancy again, you know, mirrors on each corner um, or over here. And then countertop space is fairly small, but you know, it should do just fine to keep what you need. Uh, again, you know, just a simple, regular, shower it works just fine it gets the job done um can't complain so this is pretty much the room here guys not a whole lot to it um honestly this is 
a really good looking room. I've seen like rooms that do not look this good. So um, I think it's definitely a blessing to have a room like this. I try to keep it clean for the most part. Uh, so back out here to the common area. So hope you guys enjoyed the dorm tour. Um, again, I know you guys really enjoyed the one I made for tech school. So I want to make sure I bring one out for you guys here in the operational side, uh, like I promised. So that was it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You know, it really helps. I appreciate every one of those thumbs up that you guys put on the videos. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see anything else. Uh, I know I've been asked about the fire station. Fire station tour, that will be coming in the near future as well. So again, any questions, leave them in the comment section below and then you guys know what to do. If you're not subscribed already and you enjoyed the content you've seen today or other videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great one.